All right, back now, 745 Tex-Mex, of course, favorite here in Austin. Some people eat it at almost every meal. And that's why Austin Monthly's February issue is dedicated to all things Tex-Mex. The magazine's assistant editor, Kimya Kavakar, is joining us this morning with a sneak peek. We have a copy here, too, that I've been going through. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Thanks. So uh, on the list of all-time assignments, this has to be one of the best because you, you went and tried all of these places. Yeah. How many places did you Pretty think? great. Um, over 20 at least. So, I mean, yeah, it, it's definitely any any food story is definitely the favorite ones to do. <laughs> so, w what is it that we were discussing this uh, during the break? Mm -hmm. What is the difference between Tex-Mex and just Mex, if you will? Is, is so, there a difference? Right. So, interior Mexican um, has a lot to do with white cheeses, more seafood, corn mm -hmm. tortillas, whereas Tex-Mex has a higher um, frequency of beef and flour and cheddar cheese, things that were more available good in this stuff. part of the country. <laughs> all, all the good stuff, you know. So, I mean, th this is so interesting because Austin is such a such a great food city. People mm -hmm. have such strong opinions. What's the reaction like, or what are you expecting from this? Because you basically what you did, if you guys haven't seen, you, were, you have the 15 essential Tex-Mex right. restaurants. Yes. What's the reaction going to be like? So I just, we hope that our readers understand that's not a top list, mm -hmm. that we understand that there are hundreds of, you know, Mexican restaurants, Tex-Mex restaurants in town, and we just chose the ones that have kind of endured the test of time. And we're hoping for a lot of feedback. Um, mm -hmm. People, as you say, are very passionate about food, and especially Tex-Mex, since that's such like an Austin-heavy cuisine. Yeah. And we expect lots of opinions, which we love. <laughs> what, what gets a bigger response, the barbecue stuff that you do or the Tex-Mex stuff? Um... Well, this is our first kind of Tex-Mex, but barbecue has received a lot and a lot of opinions, which we love. We love to hear what our readers think. And, you know, if we haven't tried one of those places, go try it ourselves and, and see what, what we think. So if somebody's new to Austin, because a lot of people just moved here, um, how do you know you're in an authentic Tex-Mex joint versus kind of a, you know, not as authentic without naming names? Right. So we, inside the feature, we have kind of a list of foods that should be on your menu if you're at a Tex-Mex restaurant. Things like carne guisada, breakfast tacos, queso, fajitas, those kinds of things. Okay. And, you know, something where it's a little bit more down home, mm -hmm. you know, kind the, of casual. The frou-frou stuff can, you right. can save that for a fancy. Exactly. Right? So you guys have a Tex-Mex event coming up. Right. What, what is that? So we're going to have kind of the vendors and restaurants that we have in our feature for people to try and taste and kind of get their fill. So mm -hmm. you don't necessarily have to go and try all those 15 restaurants on your own and on your own dime. You can kind of come to our party and get a little taste of everything at one time. So, okay. so I'm going to put you a little bit on the spot here. Sure. In all these 20 places that, that you tried, what's the best thing you had? Oh my gosh. I'm really on the spot now. Um, <laughs> It can I'm just like be a dish. You don't, have to, you don't have to name. Uh, what's your favorite <laughs> dish? I should say. Though. My favorite di breakfast tacos are yes. not even just Tex-Mex cuisine, but Austin specific. Yeah. Hard to find them outside of the city, and they're just a taste of home. Mm -hmm. So I absolutely love breakfast. My tacos. family in California was blown away when I told them about breakfast tacos because mm -hmm. they have burritos, right? But no tacos. Totally different game. <laughs> so uh, the the issue is on uh, store shelves now, correct? Yes. You right? can go so pick if you it up. Check mm -hmm. it out, and I've already circled some spots in here, and then. You can yes. send your vehement emails of disagreement. Send them to me. <laughs> I'm right. happy to respond. Kimmy, thank you so much. Thank we you so much. I appreciate it. it. Uh, Dave